Cool. All right. Guess I'll press the button. Music genres, part one. Blues, country, and jazz. This video will really help you if you are a musician looking for inspiration, or if you're an actor or improv comedian who might need to be able to perform these genres at a moment's notice. I put together all this research when I was teaching improvised musical comedy. The audience would suggest a genre, and my students, without thinking about it, would need to pull that genre out of their head, perform a full song in that genre that the audience would love. This information is how we quickly taught ourselves each of these genres so that we would be able to perform them at a moment's notice. But first, a little history of American music. For the most part, American music can be traced back to primary sources. African American or slave spirituals, you got blues, and then jazz, and then rock and roll, and Appalachian folk music, or hillbilly music, as it was called. You got country and western and folk music. Country and western then blended with blues, and rock and roll to become the genre that we know today. There were also other very big influences, of course. Every group of people who came to America brought music, but these are two primary sources with a very big influence from Latin music as well, especially throughout the 1900s. Let's start with the blues. The blues are characterized by very simple instrumentals. Often it's just one guitar, one piano, and you're gonna get very low down, smooth, deep vocals. The topics for the blues are just anything that makes you sad, but a lot of times it's somebody left you, somebody cheated on you, you have no money, somebody died, you're poor, sick, and tired. Sometimes the blues isn't sad, it can also just, it can also be sexy, but it's still gonna be low down. Here's some keywords for when singing or writing the blues. The blues. I got the blues. Low down. I got the low down blues. I'm low down. My woman, my man, my baby, my dog, all of whom have left you. Train, pain, rain. Like I said, we love those simple rhymes. And then my lord. As we know, blues came from spirituals, so this is throwing your problems up to the Lord or just cursing because you're very, very sad. You don't even have to get too specific. It's just somebody done you wrong. Somebody is going to die. We're all going to die. Just something that hits you emotionally and that you can express through that low down blues singing. If you are improvising a blues song, the simplest way to do it is a line A, line A, line A, line B, line A structure. And I'll show you what that means using some of our keywords. I'm gonna improvise a verse of a blues song so you can see how to do this and then I'll kind of explain how I did it. And I'll do this with all the genres. So, my baby took the train. My baby took the train. My baby took the train. And left me all this pain, my baby took the train. So because blues came from spirituals, you see a lot of this kind of call and response thing. So you can work and play with one line pretty much over and over with some modifications. The point is expressing that emotion and expressing your message sincerely and sadly, because you've got the blues. So when you are improvising a blues verse, you just have to pick one line that feels good to you and find different ways to sing it. And like I said, line one, line one, line one with line two, line one. To duplicate this and make more verses, you just switch up either what line one is or what line two is, and you can make more verses that way. The best thing to do with the blues is to just let your emotion carry you away in the voice and experiment with the different lines so you can sing things different ways as you go through as your mood takes you. Further listen for the blues, Muddy Waters, B.B. King, Edda James, and Bessie Smith. There are probably more recent people, but I am a hundred years old, and these are some of the greats, so it's a good place to start. Spotify also has a lot of really good blues playlists, and that's the blues. Now let's talk about country music.
this of course came from Appalachian folk music. I'm separating country and folk music. I'll talk about folk at a different time. There's a lot of similar themes, but the production is a lot different, especially with modern country and modern folk. Country is characterized by twangy instrumentals. You get a lot of string instruments. I love that violin and that banjo. But because country has been so influenced by blues and rock, especially now, the instrumentals for modern country basically just sound like rock music. The best way to tell that you are listening to a country song is by the accent. If the person is singing in a country accent, you're probably listening to country music. You can also tell that it's country based on the type of things that they're singing about. Usually country music is based in nostalgia, so we're talking about down home cooking and being back on mom and pa's farm. There's also a section of country that's not so much about pride and where you come from, but is more about being sad because you're poor or a criminal. This is commonly referred to as outlaw country. In outlaw country, you're going to be talking more about being in prison and being drunk and uh, losing your woman because you're a bad person. Country music also does a lot of the same things as the blues. There's a lot of songs about getting cheated on and having troubles in relationships. Similar to Outlaw Country, you're gonna see a lot of songs about rambling, cross-country travel, basically just enjoying the Wild West and the freedom of being American. At least that's what the country songs are saying. You also get a lot of pride in poverty or working class origins. I worked all day in the fields or there's a whole section of country songs that are just about being tired of your job and your nine kids. Keywords for country music. Country and anything related to it, including church roads, hay, farm, mom, pa, etc. Beer and whiskey. For some reason, other drugs aren't as popular in country music. You get a little bit about weed, but beer and whiskey are pretty good go-tos. Referencing previous country artists. If you are a modern country artist, just look for somebody who was really big 20 years ago and sing about them. Or make sure you mention Johnny Cash or Hank Williams in your songs. If I'm improvising country music, it has a very simple structure. Chorus, verse, chorus, verse, chorus. You don't have to get too complicated on the choruses. I'm going to improvise a chorus right now using our keywords. Well, I got plenty of whiskey and I got plenty of beer, but it don't mean a thing, baby. If you ain't here. As you can see, a lot of similar things to blues, except you're gonna have that twang and you're gonna talk about alcohol a lot, which also happens in blues. So that was a chorus. If I'm gonna do a verse, it's gonna be a four line verse. It doesn't have to get more complicated. You don't need crazy rhyme schemes. You don't need a whole lot. You just need one theme that you're really focused on. So I was talking about, I've got plenty of whiskey, I got plenty of beer, but you're not here, right? So for my verse, I'm going to do something around that. Just four lines, very simple rhymes. And the verse should sound a little bit different from the chorus, but you don't even have to get that far afield if you're improvising. I got my Corona and it tastes pretty bad because you went out and left me and took every dollar I had. Now I've got this Corona and it's my only friend. So I'll just tip my hat and say, I hope you hit a dead end. So it's just about a heartbreak and you can get silly with it, but just make sure you've got that twang if you're improvising and it's pretty much country music. More sources to listen to are Hank Williams Sr., Johnny Cash, Reba, and Garth Brooks. Those are good places to start as kind of a historical primer for country music. Let's talk about jazz. Since so much of jazz music is characterized by improvisation and experimentation, this genre is a little harder to pin down, but I'm going to try anyway. Jazz is characterized a lot of times by large groups where all together you're going to have several instruments. Like I said, not in all cases. You can also have jazz piano, which is one pianist experimenting, or any of the instruments really. But especially early jazz, you saw bigger bands working together, usually with a focus on brass instruments. In vocals, you saw experimentation with something called scatting. So, making noises that aren't words in order to riff with the music. You also hear snare drums, kind of doing that 
keeping that pace. Early jazz was often fast-paced for dancers, but that's not always the case. For the themes, you're gonna see a lot of things similar to the blues because jazz came out of blues, kind of mixed with Latin influence. So you are gonna see songs that are about my baby left me, I'm so sad. But because the music is a little bit more fast-paced, a lot of the time you're also going to see more happier themes, or at least partying themes. So let's dance, let's jazz, let's jive. Here are the keywords for jazz. Big one is jazz, simply referencing what you're doing and any aspect of it. Also dance, dancing, dance with me, anything about dancing. Moon, talk about moons a lot. Moons are nice. Uh, hot, cat, that's hot. Cool cat. I think whatever is the most hip language for the time period. So if you're looking at like 30s style jazz, in jazz you're going to see the most hip language for the time. Improvising jazz lyrics almost doesn't really make sense. I'll give you like a little bit of what it might be like. With jazz, the instrumentals are the thing. Vocals are just another instrument. I'll do a little bit of an example. Jazz is really fun to improvise if you have the band because the genre itself is improvisational. If I was improvising a little bit of jazz, Ba -do -ba -do -ba 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 -do -ba -do -ba dancing in the moon. A do -ba 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 -do -ba -do -ba. dancing with you. I'm dancing in the moon, dancing next to the moon, dancing under the moon with you. I tend to go for an older jazz style because I'm a hundred years old. Like I said, jazz is a little harder if you don't have the instrumentals to play with, but. Pretty much just stick to the topics of dancing and let yourself scat a little bit and you'll have lots of fun with it and so will the audience. Further listening to learn a little bit more about jazz, Thelonious Monk, Billy Holiday, John Coltrane, and Miles Davis. That was our exploration of blues, country, and jazz. Thanks so much for joining me. If you know anything about these genres or have any interesting thoughts about the subgenres or anything that we talked about here, please put it in the comments. I love sharing that knowledge and having everybody contribute what they know. We are also working on a song writing pack that we will be releasing soon. That's going to take you from not knowing how to write music, how to distribute it, how to do anything with it, all the way through to having it out there and having people listening to your stuff in a month. So the pack walks you through step by step how to go through very little knowledge of music to having your stuff out there and people listening to it. It's gonna be really awesome. Make sure if you're interested in that, sign up for our mailing list below. We will let you know when it's ready for release. We're working with a musician right now on that. Most importantly, let's go make some music. Let's move our bodies and probably bone somebody. Can I say bone somebody on YouTube? Jazz was sexy. Okay. Do ba do up up ba do ba do da.